वेलकम टू सॉफ्टी डैमी वी आर वर्किंग ऑन प्रेमा वीरा पी सिक्स नाइनटीन पॉइंट वन टू वर्जन अवर कोर्स कॉन्टेंट बेसिकली अवर कोर्स कॉन्टेंट ऑफ टूडे इज बार चार्ट ऑप्शन फॉर्मेट हाउ टू फॉर्मेट बार चार्ट ऑप्शन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ बार इज हाउ टू फॉर्मेट बार और हाउ टू apply or assign bar format or how to manage bar format so this is not a bar it is bar chart option it's gantt chart option or bar chart option in the bottom primavera p6 i opened i opened my project here is villa construction project i right click on there and here you find bar chart option and other from here we, you go for view and from there so you can find right click here and you can find bar chart option this is a gantt chart here you can find the bar chart option so the first option on the top is show relationship when you show the relationship you can see the arrow button with this all the activities you can see arrow arrows and links toward all the activities this is show relationship option so we will go for bar chart option again and we will remove this option and then we will show legends what are legends bar legends which which bar is applied to this layout will be shown here so you can see this is bar chart legends when you print it's all also will be showed but when you see the schedule it will be also displayed this is loe level of effort relationship uh, resource dependent activities uh, wbs activities and actual work remaining work critical work milestone and the last one is summary the last one is summary so i will not show this one legends it will take too much space limit our te text label the text with the bars you can limit also this one the text with the bars you can see here dotted dotted clearance issuance you can see here dotted dotted appears after the issuance o oh, you can increase this one these are 20, 10 text you can increase to 20 or 25 i write here 25 you can write 25 text here clearance of site insurance of drying you can see earthwork you can see excavation foundation trenches trimming leveling and termite control treatment so from here you can limit the text i do not limit my text here over all the whole the uh, here uh, my whole the text is written so i right click on the chart and i click on bar chart option so this one is the height of notebook notebook item if you add notebook item on the screen or time scale you can add the height and the pixel uh, width and the width pixel and the height pixel of the notebook items so the next one is collapse bar collapse to group bands when we click on collapse so it will be show relationship for collapse bar when when you collapse all the bars you can see bars will be collapse and the when bar will be collapse when this one is collapse you see all the bars are connected all the bars are shown in this one so when we go for bar chart option and collapse bar we will go for bar chart option our next is data date line there is a blue color line you can see on the top this is called data date line this you can see easily the data date line the where you data or where you schedule the project or where you your date current date is or your data date what's your current date is you can change the line type size color yellow color green color i okay you can see green color marked over all the line progress line so i change this one and i remove it to basic one thickness and the color is blue okay line change into blue we will go for bar chart option and we will go for side line so horizontal axis major lines and minor lines so if you want to share 
the major lines you click on major lines then the major line will be shown you can see major lines shown there all the wbs lines major lines will be shown here we will go for bar chart option here we will go for sight line where we, when we will remove for minor lines all the dotted line will be horizontal dotted line will be removed here we see sight lines show minor lines you can assign more more dotted lines here you can see after you type 10 rows 5 rows you can see right click here and i decrease it up to after one row you we, i need a dotted line you see here after one row there is a dotted line here so the next one bar chart option side line and here vertical also you can show the major after one quarter so i after one week i enter major line so after one week not two week one week i need a major line you can see sunday to saturday there is a line in your schedule major line after one week there is a line you can see weekly lines here it's very helpful we can use it sideline we can ch change it to after a day also you can see every day everything you can mark the lines it's same as it is we make schedules in excel in the previous past years it's like that you can see lines you can also track the day tuesday wednesday thursday work friday easily from these lines bar chart option we will go for side lines and you can unremove the major lines here are unremoved so the next one is bar chart option side lines this is also the minor lines are also for one day and i will go it for not for one day i will go for show major and i will for a month and i will remove it here i will go for month and i will show this line after one month after one month it will be shown it's good one month is good and after bars bar chart option go for bar chart option here and then i will not add major lines after one row i will add after 10 row after 10 row it will be shown it's very easy after 10 10 rows it will be shown so this one is a side lines the other one is the progress line the the progress line after we update the progress we can see progress line from here this one is a progress line when we update this progress line will be appeared we can manage from here its format its size thickness its color we can change color its size and what is how this is calculated so there are i already told you uh, the project baseline and the user defined baseline so you can see project baseline if we assign a baseline to project and the different baseline assigned to primary baseline it's maybe initial baseline it may be mid mid uh, project baseline or a uh, project team sign off baseline it may be many types uh, primary baseline so progress will be calculated from project baseline or primary baseline this one is written right here and draw the progress line how the progress line will be draw on finish dates or on start dates so the difference should be on finish dates or the start dates so here you can see finish date or start date if we update the progress then it will be drawn up to finish dates uh comparison so by connecting the progress points how progress points can be connected we can also connect by percentage complete percent complete 
or remaining duration it will maybe can be differentiate or can be tracked by both of these contents by percent complete and remaining duration so the basic one we use mostly is the finish date we can also calculate the finish date by progress so okay we will click on okay button and here is the progress line progress line so it's mostly on data date and i will remove it and from the progress baseline we can assign progress line we can color this one our all the upcoming activities by clicking this one the light option here we can see clearly we remove it and the other option i will let you know attachments so you can add curtain here from date curtain and start date of curtain from 26 january to 25 april it's your choice you can assign color of curtain you can assign the fill design this is also the design of curtain you can see the curtain design curtain and you can change the design curtain or design of curtain and you can also click on double click on curtain and you can also change the color into red when we mostly mark you see here and you can change the date we can also remove this one display curtain show all it's removed it's i have removed from here so it's deleted I right click on here and I will add no I will not add show all there is no curtain assigned and uh, now I will go for right click and I will click on text we can also add a text here means a b c any text you want a b c and from here we can assign the font of the a b c whatever we like the font font style size effect color which everything you want i will generally click here and this one is my text and on the top activity name is written we can assign anywhere the text we can mostly write notes here in the text this one is a text option in the chart we can also use this one click on this one and delete so this is my course about or this is my content about bar chart option format how to format bar chart option and how to format about curtains and text attachments in the time scale or in the gantt chart how to write text or curtain over gantt chart by attachments and how to format bar chart option please subscribe like share comment and press the bell icon for latest upcoming notification wait for my next video